In this video, we're going to look at other strategies for integration, which means we're going to be looking at integration tables, and sometimes we're going to have to use the computer algebra system. There are a lot of integral calculators out there online. Some of them give you the steps, some of them do not. Some of them will give you different answers using different integration um, calculators online. So just be aware of that. Now, if I am going to use the integration table, the first thing I'm going to do is get that out. And I'm going to be using the OpenStax one. It's a free book online, OpenStax Calculus, and it's in the back in the integration tables. So I'm going to specifically look for one in which I have an X or the variable and then one plus two X as variables. So the one that I found, and again, I'm using the OpenStax table of integrations is number 106. So if I look at number 106 in that table, this is the form that it takes. It is U and DU over the square root of A plus BU. Now you can see that a equals 1, B equals 2, and this would be the U. Now, using the table of integrations, this is going to be equal to 2 over 3B squared, which my B was 2. So it's three, 2 over 3 times 2 squared, multiplied by, multiplied by, my b, which is 2u, which is x, minus 2 multiplied by a, my a happened to be 1, multiplied by the square root of a, which mine was 1, plus 2x, because it is b times u, plus c. And that's it. Just going out and finding the appropriate one in the integration tables. Sometimes, though, I just want to let you know there is some manipulation you have to do. So now what I'm going to be looking for in my integration tables is a cubed and then the square root of a constant plus a constant x squared. And I don't see anything that matches that. So I might have to do a little bit of u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal 1 plus 2x squared. And du would give me uh, 4x. Now, I'm going to rewrite this integration as x squared multiplied by x multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 2x squared dx. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, uh, don't forget the dx here, I'm going to have 1 fourth du is going to give me the x dx. So I can replace this x and this x with 1 fourth du. Um, if I take my u and solve for um, the x squared, I will have u minus 1 divided by 2 is my x squared replacement. So then this gets replaced with u minus 1 divided by 2. This replaces u raised to the 1 half. And so here where I am is I have the integration of 1 half u minus 1 multiplied by u raised to the 1 half, multiplied by 1 fourth du. So this is integration of 1 eighth multiplied by u raised to the 3 over 2 minus u raised to the 1 half du. A really nice u sub. And then don't forget to back sub on this one. So this one I didn't even need the table of integrations, and I didn't find that anyways. Now my next example I have sine to the third 2x cosine 2x. Again, I'm going to go out to my integration tables, see if I can find something of the form of s, the sine of some angle raised to the n, the cosine of, of some angle, notice how they match, raised to the m d theta. So I'm going to look for that pattern. And I find this to be number 41 in the integration table. So this is number 41. Now, when you're doing this, you have to pay attention that I have a theta of 2x. 
So if I let theta equal 2x, d theta needs to be a 2 dx. So I need 1 half d theta. So uh, equals to it uh, equals dx. So what that means for me for this to match in this form, I'm going to need one half the integration of the sine cubed theta, the cosine of theta, d theta. Now, number 41 says, my n is 3, n is 3, m is 1. Using this form, you're going to have this is equal to the sine of n plus 1, so 4, of my, oh, don't forget the 1 half out front, of my angle theta, so that's theta, the cosine of m, which is 1 minus 1 of theta, divided by m plus n, so 3 plus 1, and then plus the integration of, now it's going to be m minus 1, so this is 0. Oh, m minus 1 is 0, and then n plus m, which is 4, and then it would have had the sine of n, which is 3, the cos and then theta, the cosine of m minus 2, so the cosine of negative 1, of theta, that's not the inverse, by the way, uh, du. Well, 0 times anything is going to go to 0. So I end up with 1 uh, over 2 multiplied by 4, 1 eighth, the sine to the fourth of theta plus c. Now, all I have to do is back sub, so I have 1 eighth, the sine raised to the fourth, of my 2x plus c. Now, I did see by using the table of integrations because it matched number 41, but I could have just as easily back here said, wait a minute, let's let u equal the sine of 2x, then du would equal the 2 cosine of 2x dx, and I probably actually would have done that, but I can use the table of integrations for that one. So on d, I'm going to go ahead and look for something that is of this form, 1 over the square root of a squared minus u squared du. That's what I'm going to be looking for, because I'm looking for pattern recognition. And this one is number 15, give or take. Um, in the table of integrations, and this ends up becoming the sine inverse of my x over a, which happens to be 2, plus c. And again, I could totally have done this without the table of integrations. Oh, that should be y, because my variable is y. I could have totally done this without the table of integrations by just saying, oh, this looks like the, the sine inverse. I'm going to look at E, and with E, I'm going to be looking for something that like, looks like this, U times some B, U squared, DU, and I don't see anything. So let's try of letting U equal X squared, and DU is equal to 2X DX, 1 half DU is equal to X DX. So this and the dx gets replaced with 1 half du, and this gets replaced with 2 raised to the u. So then what I'm really integrating is 1 half 2 raised to the u du. And this is not on the table of integration, but we absolutely know how to integrate this. This ends up becoming 1 half the natural log of 2, 2 to the u plus c. So in other words, 2 raised to the x squared over 2 the natural log of 2 plus c. And the reason that is is because if I let v equal 2 to the u, dv would equal 2u the natural log of 2 du. And you can see I am missing this natural log of 2. 
as part of my derivative, so I had to make that adjustment. Now, for these, it tells you to use a computer-aided system. Basically, go out and find um, an integrating um, calculator. Just look for integralcalculator.com. Symbol Lab is one of the ones that isn't too bad. Um, it gives you pretty good, but it doesn't give you the steps, right? And sometimes there just isn't steps. So go out to your favorite integral calculator. The one that I like to use but does not give me the steps unless you pay for it is www.symbo, S-Y-M-B-O, lab.com. And then from there, you can decide um, what you want to do, integrate or solve or whatever. And for those, I'm just going to go ahead and let you use your CAS to evaluate those. Some of your graphing calculators would do that too, and that's why you don't get to use graphing calculators on the tests. It's because some of the calculators that you can buy for around 100 bucks will do these for you. And that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, there really isn't much more besides being able to look for pattern recognition in the table of integrals, because I'm not going to show you how to use your cast to do those. If you want to do that in class, absolutely, I'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, that's it.